disgusting that it, it happens and that it uh, uh, the children are able to get a hold of that stuff. Like, if you're going to use it, keep the children away from it. It's going to happen. You're in a big, big community. It's a small city. You know what? It's going to happen. It's just who's going to say something. People in Oshawa still scratching their heads over word today about the two incidents at the unidentified school last week and the week before. Durham Police say last Monday, a grade six student brought marijuana cookies to school. Several students ate them and four were left dizzy and euphoric. Police say a parent had made them for their spouse who has a medical marijuana license. An older sibling took them without permission and they somehow ended up in the grade six students' hands. The other incident happened the week before when four grade seven and eight students got high on THC infused gummy bears. It's still not clear how they got those. Police are still investigating and the Children's Aid Society is involved. The Durham District School Board is also working with police and released this statement, quote, it is important to know these are isolated and separate incidents. Durham Regional Police Services Youth Officer continues to monitor the situation. DDSB schools work proactively to educate students on the negative effects of drug use, misuse and abuse. Drug use by students is a serious matter and is dealt with as such through progressive discipline and police intervention as necessary." End quote. And as part of their investigation, police have even gone so far as to hand out photos of the prepackaged gummy bears to teachers to give them a better idea of what they should be looking out for.